contrary to the popular Jovinci code and you know some of the so-called Gnostic Gospels, Gnostic Gospels, there's some that mention the so-called try to
as easy as I can. Of course, the sister will come, you know, oh Joanna, we used to, you know, we go back, way back, you know, remember when we grew up together and you helped me here, remember I helped you there. Come on, I know you're going to miss an hour, but don't be so strict. You know, we shouldn't, our friendship shouldn't, you know, go away because of your Islam. Really? And you have to tell her in a nice way, guys. Sandy, you're my friend and I love you. But I love God more. And I love, I would love for you to know God. And trust me, I'm there for you for anything you want me to be. Any problem you have, I'll be there for you. As a Muslim, but I won't come to your Christmas party because I respect number one what my God tells me. I respect myself number two, and I respect you as my friend. And you know that what happens at these parties, you as a Christian, as a you know this is not right. And I ask you, if Jesus would be here, the one who you suppose they do this party for, would he be happy with what happens at normal Christmas parties? Would he be happy? Really? Let's think about it. Would Jesus be happy seeing people? I don't know. The Christmas parties, it's not just sitting around and eating turkey or something. I'm a big turkey at Christmas party. They used to eat them. You know what I mean? But be nice. Be soft. Well, any other day, I'll come next, next day. Get after it. I'll come to your house. I'll come in the morning. I'll come pick you up from school, I'll come pick you up from work. I'll wake up at 3 in the morning and come pick you up from work when you finish work. So no fun, you know, pasta or something like that. I'll be there with my hijab on. And I'll pick you up. If you need some money, give me some money. I'll warn you some money. But I'm not going to do this this time. Because we get to drink, we need some pork bread. The man and women mixing it. This is not, you yourself know this is not correct. I, I think this is an, uh, that's the way I, I, I would put it a lot. But I think I need to take this from sister's question. You guys just gave me a, a heads up on what's supposed to stop. So if Jesus is not the one who was crucified in the cross, then who is that person? Well, first of all, the Quran doesn't say that anyone's crucified or not. It says that it appeared to them. Okay? But it says, And they did not kill them, nor did they crucify them. It appeared to them. There's different generations who can talk, and you know, different scholars have hinted at different things, but it is not known. For sure, but what's not for sure, and this is what we need to understand, it's very important as I talked about even in the book today. I came to it, I was talking a bit more. But God tells us things that are beneficial to us, such as Jesus not crucified, and things that really doesn't matter who is it, if, if, if someone wasn't, right? if someone wasn't or wasn't. But what matters is, because a lot of people get more to tangents. Oh, who was then if Jesus was not? You start thinking, why, who was then? You spend all your time trying to find him. And God didn't tell you. But God would have told you that he wasn't. How? For sure he wasn't. That's all I need to know. If Jesus didn't die, Jesus was not crucified. After giving birth to Jesus, does Mary have a family or other children of Joe's new Muslim sister, two weeks old, mashallah. Two weeks old? <laughs> two weeks old, that's an interesting one. Mashallah, that's her sister. Um, again, the Quran doesn't give the information on that. Um, I myself would not know, and I was speaking only of what I know, and I will ask that. You know, from the, from the Christian perspectives, there is said that you know that Jesus and brothers from there. From the Islamic perspective, I don't have any information uh, in the 
says that talk about the diet so far, many years. And if anyone knows after this, you know, can share it with each other. But uh, again, uh, so maybe this is something that my sister can approach someone knowledgeable and do some research. I'll do my stuff the research and I can get back to that sister shop. But from a from Christian perspective, there is. From a Muslim perspective, I don't know. One question from the brother. One question from the brother. Left. You can have one more question. One more from the brothers, one from the sisters. Any non Muslim from the brother who wants to ask a question? Don't ask a question. Is there non Muslim? Yeah, it's okay, anyone. The brother has a question here. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> it's up to you guys, you guys decide. I'll give it time for you. Uh, I just wanted to uh, I think I'll ask the question though. Yeah. Uh, the problem I had actually pointed a very good uh, point that a lot of new Muslims find it very difficult. Uh, but to, just for, in addition to that, if it comes to extremes where the uh, parents uh, will actually say that they will be some uh, the children, uh, if they do not partake or meet them at the festivities, etc. Um, what advice you can give, you know, in that extreme context? Meaning that someone from the family would be someone there, or his own or whatever. Yeah. 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 These kind of things. To be honest, brother, uh, we asked the same question from a scholar, and he told us an answer. However, I wouldn't uh, give you that answer today. Why? Because if you know Islamic answers are sometimes fatal you know, and they're catered specifically to a certain person, certain circumstances. Yeah? So he told us something and we asked him as a group actually just there was about 12 or 13 new Muslims sitting with a, a proper scholar to understand you know, the, and the difficult minorities and you know especially in the West, and this was in the West. And he gave us an explanation, you know, what people should do and should not. Um, I would say that each person, if you face that problem, so someone threatens you to disown you, something like that, you have to ask the proper scholar, like, what should you do? What's the right path to take in this case? Okay, so I can't give you a general answer on this. But again, I advise, and there, this is a problem, I know that, because we faced it before, and we had to go with this issue to the yeah, but I cannot generalize and tell you that what he said. Right? But if you were have this issue, sisters, brothers, go and ask. Uh, there is, there are people who are knowledgeable. Don't be shy. Go and ask them. Tell them all the details of the situation. Inshallah, uh, brothers who are qualified or sisters can give you the uh, proper answer. Inshallah. So last question from the sister. Okay, I will be here after. Christians say Isa is the Son of God. Who is this God according to them? From a Christian point of view, Christians believe in Jesus as the Son of God, God, part of the Triune, God, which is three different yet one. Two different, can you say gods, because they will say no, it's not right. So the theology, supposedly, doesn't mean that. But they'll say the three different persons of the triune head, and it's triune God. The triune, how can I put it? I think Imam Zayi, the Lord of Israel, he kind of put it in a, in a nice way, but he said, uh, Only monotheism. So, polytheism, but monotheism. It's not polytheism. Even though people claim it is, everyone can claim, you know, people claim many things. Of course, you have to claim to explain yourself. This is the one thing we have to understand as human being. There's always going to be an explanation for everything. People have to make explanations for what they believe.